Ah, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a pocket hole jig. Uh, so this really, this is a super handy tool. It is designed for cutting holes in, uh, like pocket holes, in a piece of wood so you can then screw stuff in at an angle. And let me just go ahead and show you one here real quick. You can see right here, this is a pocket hole and then there's a pocket hole screw in that pocket hole and that's attaching this base kickboard uh, onto the base of this particular cabinet here. Uh, so this tool is designed to make these holes cut at an angle at a specific depth so you can make those attachments. The important thing is setting it up properly based on the size of wood you're working with. And I will show you that. Uh, there's a couple things to watch for. This is your main unit right here. And what you would do, a piece of wood, which you would put in and then you can adjust this here to the size that you're working with. So right now that won't clamp close because it is too tight. So you would back this off, get it so you could clamp it closed like that and then you would tighten this nut down. Um, let me just see if I can show you that a little bit better. So that goes up against the wood just like that. Um, you would set this up and you want to make sure that is down flat against the bottom here when you clamp it. Uh, so once you get this set up, assuming you're dealing with the same thickness wood quite a bit, you would lock this nut down and it should stay there and you would be able to cut all kinds of different pocket holes and different pieces uh, this thickness. Uh, so that's how you would set this up here for fastening your work to the jig itself. And one of the things that you want to do also is to make sure you're drilling at the right depth. And there's two things you need to do on that. You need to determine the thickness of your wood that you're drilling into. Generally, your general stock wood boards and stuff you would get at your big box store are three quarter inch wood, wood for most things that you're doing. And if you look closely, right on the side of this thing, you can see there's some measurements right there. And you can see I'm at the three quarter. Uh, you unscrew this screw right here. And you gotta go quite a bit ways here. And then this can come out and you got the corresponding holes here that that screw will lock in and um, the, the reference holes to the sizes on the side. And so you put this in position, line it up with the size wood that you're dealing with, and then you would screw this tight and that holds it into position. So now you have that set up properly. The other thing you need to set up properly is the drill bit itself. Now this drill bit is designed for the pocket hole uh, system. It's got a uh, much larger end to it here that's narrower to drill just where the screw is going to go in and it's got like a flat a shoulder here that stops. So when your screw goes down in the hole, the back of this, it's like a, a washer head screw, locks up tight against uh, where this left it left that wood there and it's only just a small hole for the rest of it and this will drop down in once you tighten it up it'll lock up tight up against that and hold it into position but to get that hole the right depth you got to make sure this is set up correctly as well and this collar has a set screw on it right there you can see and then on the jig itself you can see and zoom in here a little bit there are different depth settings so what you do is you take your drill bit, you set it on here, and you line that collar or that shoulder I was talking to you about up with the thickness wood that you're dealing with. In this case, you can see the shoulder is lined up with that three quarter. And with that lined up, you would tighten up your collar for that position. And then you got all these other positions and you also have some on this side as well depending on the thickness of wood you're drilling into. So once you get that set up and that locked down tight, you're good to go. And then you can put this into your drill gun, put your wood in place, drill your hole, uh, and then you can then fasten your wood together. Uh, now there's a couple other attachments in this particular one here. This is a vacuum attachment that would go on here like so, locks in. And then you can hook a vacuum up to this. So while, while you're drilling, drilling the uh, most of the sawdust is going to come out of this, the debris. And by having this locked on there, you can suck that away. 
I don't really use this too much uh, because I'm moving this around a lot depending on what I'm doing and and so it's not really that necessary now the other thing you can do if you're going to be using this into one position uh, or if you want it stationary you do have four holes here that gives you the option to fasten this down on a bent somewhere which is super handy for certain things in certain situations um, but if you don't want to make it a permanent uh, fixture then you have this spot that they've left you right here that you can bring it over to the edge of a bench and then clamp it down uh, by putting a clamp on here and under your bench and that would hold it in position as well if you're doing a bunch and when you're done you just unclamp it and put this away and that's what we do in fact i would say 90 percent of the time i don't even clamp it down i'm doing you know small stuff and things like that uh, now craig does offer a lot of other accessories and options some other models as well um, i've got two of these really and i love it use it all the time for lots of different things they're super handy now craig is not a sponsor if they want to they can reach out to me i could certainly use some more screws if they want to send us some screws but um we bought these actually my dad bought this one i bought mine a long time ago so they are i'm not getting anything for talking to, to you about this product but i tell you um, i love it and my brother just started using it recently and he fell in love with it too so uh, they are handy they're not for everything but they are super handy they give you a nice uh nice tight connection with your joint and uh, makes for a very rugged connection. Um, but hopefully this video helped you out. That's how you can set up your pocket holes jig by Craig. Uh, they do offer several different screw sizes also depending on the depth of the wood you go in or the thickness of the wood. So keep that in mind. I'll put a link to this in the description if you're interested in it, you can check it out. Uh, but these things are just great. You know, I really, really like them. And um, when this, let me just one last thing, when this is in the drill gun, you would just drill down in these holes and the collar stops it. And you can see that's where it ends up. i just back this out of the way. Uh, so if the wood was there, you would see that would drill that pocket hole in. And you see that point, you don't want it to go through that first piece. You want it to stop uh, so that would not go through. So the screw would pierce through the rest of the wood into the next piece on its own. Uh, but that's, uh, that's uh, how you set up a Craig jig link will be in the description if you have any questions please ask comment um i certainly appreciate you supporting our channel by clicking that like button and subscribing and if you really want to help us out click on that paypal button uh, you can help us out that way as well would be super uh, grateful um, but the best thing you can do is comment like and subscribe and share our videos thank you very much have a great day and we'll see you in the next video drilling